Good day, everyone. Today's video is following from an in-class exercise that we did in my spatial course, taking data from online, putting it into a spreadsheet, then mapping it in the 3D mapping tool within Excel. With that, a lot of the data that we work with in class is already tabular or already usable, and you don't have to make a new data set. You don't have to code. You don't have to clean too much to it. With that, I wanted to go over how to, if you are interested in data, a file that you've had online and you didn't know how to convert it, clean it, and everything with that, some simple ways you could use it uh, in Excel to map the data. And we're going to do this brief version here because it's just repetitive after a while. But we did this in class to go over how to make a map, a point map within Excel for our lovely Ale Trail. And I say that because when we were going through and when we went in class, I click on Ale Trail and we scroll down to a downloadable map. With that, this is going to generate a map that has most of them that are actually off of this screen itself to where, when I say that, they're not on the map itself. It's just pointing to where there's about eight north. We have another one that's out towards Eureka Springs, and one that's west. I'm not sure where that would be. Uh, that might be the Lowell one. But really, it's not showing you all that much because for the Fable part, it's down here, but it doesn't have an address attached to them. It has a name, so you, of course, you can use Google Maps, Apple Maps, whatever you use. But it's not that great of a map. I don't know why you would really use this since it's not showing everything. So it's a bit problematic. But the cool part is we know that there's 20 different ones as part of the Ale Trail. You can have a passport where you get it stamped at each one. It is fun. Some good ones in here, some I still need to check out. But if I come back to the main page and click on breweries, it's going to list those 20 breweries out for us. With that, if I click on any individual one, it has the data inside of it that we need to actually map it. So we have the address. We get in the city attached to it. So we can use this in an Excel document then to map the data and actually make a better map than they have as a downloadable version. To do that, I open up a blank document here in Excel, so a new worksheet. All I'm going to do is space these out on both sides so I can have them on the same screen. At the top here, I'm just going to put the name. So this is going to be the name of the brewery. I'm going to put address, city, and state. So with this, we know they're all in Arkansas. We'll just have to specify the name, address, the city part, and go forward. You can, if you want to, do the copy and paste where you're highlighting everything. Given I'm only going to do a handful of these to just show you just how to map it, I'm going to type them out here. So we have our first one, Apple Blossom Brewing. The address is 1550 East Zion Road in Fayetteville. Arkansas. With that, I can hop back. I'm going to click on another random one. Let's do Eureka Springs, just to show one that's not in Fayetteville. So this one's truly in Eureka Springs. We have Eureka Springs, oops, Brewery. And here we have 96 Ridge View Road, Eureka Springs, Arkansas hop back again and let's pick another one that I know is not in Fayetteville as well, Goat Lab. And this is one that I've been meaning to check out, drive by. And here we have Goat Lab Brewery with that 722 South Bloomington Street, Lowell, Arkansas. So again, you can do this for all 20 in class. We did this for all 20 for their homework assignment for the class. It's asking them to grab coffee shops in Arkansas or in Fayetteville specifically and do the same part. So they'll go find the name of the actual coffee shop, the address, city, state, all that to it. You can use Google to that, Yelp, any of those come up. I'm just bolding that right now, but I'm just going to highlight this data field here. So I have my information from name down to Arkansas here. Highlight to come up to my insert, and I want to insert a 3D map. Again, I want these just to be a point on the map, nothing too crazy with it. And since I already had the address field, I had the city field, and I had the state, Excel's very good at identifying that, and it already matched those over here on the location tab on the right for us. So as I zoom in, we can see where those three are located. I'm going to turn on my map labels, flat, change the view a little bit. I'm going to turn off my field list real quick. But you can now see what those look like. And if you want to change the name of it or what it looks like, you can change the category. And of course, it comes with a height. But with that, if you go to layer options, you can change the height to where it's pretty much a box, a block that way. 
You might not like the layer here to where it says layer one. You can come up here, either double click, or if you hit on the rename this layer that looks like a pencil, you can type in brewery name and it updates for you. If you wanna change the theme to where if you're a dark scale person or dark theme, you can change that. And of course you can change the uh, color sound here. So even within the layer options for this data here, Apple Blossom, if I wanted it to be blue, I can change that in updates within the legend and on the map. If I wanted to add a title, I can add a text box. This could be Ale Trail Stops. Something to where you know what it is. You can change the background to have it a little grayscale so it stands out. So it can bold it, can change the font color here to, let's do a bright yellow. Click on a random one here. And we're good to go to where now we have a title to where we could work with this a bit more and we have a finished map to where if we hit capture screenshot we have something to work with obviously i would change the theme to be a bit more digestible for, and easier on the eyes change up the title to be more legible to match what's going on down here with our legend itself but an easy way when you have data online that you want to visualize and say spatially that you don't have access to you can pull it from even google and just grab the name address and that make a spreadsheet out of it, code it is what you're doing for the most part. You're taking information and you're developing a data set for that. And then you can map it within Excel. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. This is just an abbreviated version of what we did in class. You could do it for all 20 and you would have a, quite a few up here in Bentonville Rogers and a few more down here in Fayetteville. If there's any questions, please feel free to reach out. Until next time.